of viewers, this is Rola's Productions. Today, we'll be learning how to produce some products. Or, we can say, we'll be going to preparation of making some products. Now, one of the products we'll be looking at today is that of how to produce a dry erase whiteboard marker ink. A dry erase whiteboard marker ink. For you to produce a dry erase whiteboard marker ink, you actually need certain products. Of course, if you look at many of the imported items which you are using today, they hardly put the ingredients. Because they don't want you to know the composition of these products. But here in Rollers Productions, we'll be making known to you those ingredients and as well we'll be going into a brief preparation of how to make a dry erase whiteboard marker ink. What do we mean by dry erase whiteboard marker ink? We are simply talking about those kind of products or that those type of inks that when written on a white board or when written on a glass is get dry immediately and wipe off where when you use any material you so desire on it. In other words, if you use um, what you can call an eraser or a cloth or a piece of cloth, what have you, if you use it to just pass through the board, such ink gets rest off. You don't see them again on the whiteboard. That is the type of ink we call a dry erase whiteboard marker ink. So, what are those ingredients we are going to need for us to be able to prepare a dry erase whiteboard marker ink? We are going to be in need of one color. There are different types of colors. And you can get them in different forms. You can get them in liquid form. You can get them in powder form. The one we'll be using for this preparation or for this lesson is in liquid form. But that does not mean you cannot use those ones in the powder form. Now, here we have, uh, yeah, like I was uh, earlier telling you. I said, uh, I was talking about the ingredients we'll be using. This very one on the steam right is our color. And the next one following is our color solvents. And this third one, uh, which I think I have not actually mentioned earlier, this third one represents what we call binder. This third one is sent by that. You can see that we are actually having three things on my table here. We are having the color to the extreme right. Then you have uh, the color solvent. The color solvent is, uh, we have the color solvent. I'll come back to the explanation later. Then to the extreme left, we have what you call binder. There is one other item which I'll be talking about in the course of our lecture. We call it differential or we or branding branding solvents or branding whatever. Okay, this very last one, the fourth one, is not essential. That's why you are not seeing on the table. The essential ingredients you need for you to be able to make a dry erase whiteboard marker ink are these three you are seeing. That is the color, the color solvent. And uh, the binder. Now, the differential is just, it depends on the individual. The differential is used to make you or to make your products or your own dry erase white board marker ink different from that of others. The differential can be in form of color brightener, it can be in form of so many things, it can be in form of a color mixture. So the essence of differential is just to differentiate your own product 
from that of others. But I'm not having differential on this uh, table right now. Okay, I can always come back to that one later. Or if you want to know more about differential, you can always contact me, contact Herolas Productions on the phone number 0802-830-9462. Again, you can contact, you can contact Herolas Productions on 0802-830-9462. 9462 now let's go into the preparation proper that is let's go into making of dry red whiteboard marker hang um This is the color, like I earlier mentioned. So this color, all you just have to do, you had a color solvent. The color solvent. All this quantity you are seeing here, they are already in measured uh, form so I will be adding here my color solvent this is the color solvent I'm adding the color solvent I'm adding the color solvent to the desired quantity to the desired quantity yeah I've already added that so we are now having here at my extreme right a solution of the color and the color solvent. So I will be quickly be mixing it up. You can see that I'm mixing it up. Yeah, it has to be mixed thoroughly. Yeah, it has to be mixed thoroughly. In the normal product, I mean, in the factory, we use a factory mixer. There's something we call mixer which we use in mixing this. Uh, products so I haven't done that I will not had already measured binder as well so I'm adding my binder I'm adding my binder my binder you can see it you can see that I'm adding the binder yeah I'm adding the binder to it so that's we missed totally please you miss it thoroughly, miss it thoroughly, miss it thoroughly, miss it thoroughly. If it's if it's a mass production, I will not be using my hand like this. I will just use what you call mixer. Since this one is just for training, that's why I'm using hand. So I have to miss it thoroughly so that you can ensure that the color together with the color solvent and uh, the binder mix together properly. So, I am true with what I need from the binder, what I need from the color solvent. So, these ones are aside now. All I just need to ensure that I miss thoroughly is just my binder. If I have my differential with me, for instance, for the micro high produce in our home factory here in Rollers Productions, we make sure that we have differential. It is only this one that will make our product different from that of others so i will mix all this together let's quickly do our test let me put aside all these ones we don't need all these ones again yeah? we have two of them so let us see an example this is yeah i've already mixed thoroughly our preparation the preparation is already thoroughly mixed so let's just see how it looks like on our testing surface I'm testing it on the surface of this glass like looking cup can you see it can you see it can you see the uh, I've already stained the cup with it so we're going to see so let us let it dry a little we'll now attempt to wipe it off 
so we have to close this our preparation so that it doesn't dry off so you are watching this let's quickly look at this can you see it it has wiped off can you see that look at it again can you see it's wiping off so you can see it properly now you can see it i'm using my hand to wipe them off can you see it can you see it again can you see it again i'm using my hand to wipe off what we had earlier put on the glass slide hello viewers hello viewers in rollers productions we train our students on how to make so many items our agenda and our focus in Rollers Productions is for you to be your own boss, be self-employed and economically empowered. Come to Rollers Productions for your training in different products. You want to know how to make toiletries like laundry soap, bath soap, toilet soap and so on and so forth. You want to learn how to make different cosmetics, visit us, how to make uh, balm, how to make paints, different adhesives, how to make shoe polish, visit Rollers Productions. You want to learn how to make all forms of industrial lubricants, visit us in Rollers Productions. You want to know how to make alcoholic uh, and non-alcoholic beverages, that is wines, uh, fruit drinks, and so on and so forth. Meet us in Rollers Productions. You want to learn how to make detergents and other forms of cleaning preparations, liquid soap, and so on and so forth. Come to Rollers Productions. We as well train our students on how to make yogurt, cakes, snacks, ice cream, and so on and so forth. We as well give training on computer information management. For all forms of training, you can always come to Rollers Productions in respect of your household products. Aside this was highlighted here, we also train like the one we have just had. We want to know how to make dry erase marker ink. We train you. We want to know how to make this um sanitizers, and so on and so forth. Our job here is Lula's production is to make you skillful, to make you be your own boss. To contact us, you can see our phone number. Our phone number in Rollers Productions is 070 3461 4091. Again, our phone number is 070 3461 4091. If you are outside Nigeria, then you have to put plus 234. If you are outside Nigeria, in front of our phone number, you have to put plus two three four. Then you can as well contact us on our Yahoo mail, which is uh, Rolask Productions at yahoo.com. Rolask Productions at yahoo.com. I think you can see that. Rolask Productions at yahoo.com. Hope you can see the email properly. Rolask. You can see Rolask there. Yeah, Rollers Productions, email is Rollers Productions at yahoo.com and our phone number again is 070-3461-4091 but if you are outside Nigeria you have to put plus 234 being the code of Nigeria so you are welcome, we will be expecting you in, our, in Rollers Productions thank you very much